We bring in BTN.com senior writer Tom Deanhart, who joins us now on the phone. And Tom, your reaction to what you've seen today, to the fact that this statue did come down. Well, Dave, I think it's, it's, a, it's a good call, and I still wonder why it took as long as it did to make this decision. Um, I really thought once the free report was released, um, you know, at that point, uh, the decision should have been made to act even sooner than they have as far as bringing down the statue. So, again, I think it's the right move and the correct move because, uh, again, I just thought it was a, a symbolic and a lightning rod for all, uh, all, all the wrong reasons. Yeah, no doubt about that. I mean, a lot of talk about the statement that it would make were you to leave it up. And, and I think, again, and we've heard reaction already today coming out of State College that there are some people disappointed with the decision, that they see it as a, a knee jerk or, or what have you. But, I mean, if you think about what it would look like if it stayed up, Tom, I mean, that's the alternative. What would that alternative look like? Exactly. Uh, and again, Dave, when we saw Nike removed Paternal's name from its child development center very quickly after the free report was announced. We saw Brown University, uh, which is Paternal's alma mater, take his name off an endowed scholarship there. So, again, um, uh, Penn State was, uh, was moving a little bit too slow, at least for my taste, as far as removing the statue. So, again, uh, I think it was a good move for them to finally uh, move it away. And now I'm interested to see what happens to that uh, uh, Dave as well. And again, I'll be really interested to see if they do anything with the site where that statue originally sat. I really think it'd be good to maybe have some type of memorial uh, for the victims uh, of this cover up. That will be one of the issues here is, is how Penn State moves forward, what they do again to pay some sort of tribute to the victims to raise awareness for uh, child sex abuse victims. Tom Deanhart is on the phone right now with us. Jerry DiNardo alongside. I'm Dave Revson. We were talking a little bit earlier, Tom, about the nature of the NCAA's actions and the fact that they have moved as quickly as they have. You've been an observer for quite some time as a, a long-standing member of the media and someone who's covered the NCAA for years and years. What is your take on the fact that the NCAA has moved as quickly as it has? Well, I think it indicates Penn State is, is fully cooperating with the NCAA. Um, and it, it's really showing that it, it's obviously working in concert here with the organization. Um, almost seeming, Dave, in my mind, uh, to sort of take whatever punishment it, it's going to get. And it seems like that it really wants to move forward as an institution here. I mean, I couldn't imagine, Dave, if you're Bill O'Brien in that football program, you're not to take the focus away from the victims here. But again, on the field this year, if you're Bill O'Brien, how do you continue to focus as a team? How do you continue to recruit as a staff, not really knowing what type of punishment is going to come down? So, again, I think Penn State wants to try to move forward from a football and an institution standpoint. And again, looks like they're fully cooperating with the NCAA at this point to get this ball moving. BTN.com senior writer Tom Deanhart on the phone with us as you look again at a live picture at Penn State. And if you'll recall, just a few hours ago, that spot that you're looking at right now had four Penn State football players who were following Joe Paterno out onto the field. You see they have been removed, and now they are sanding down that structure and taking those bolts that secured those players to the concrete slab there taking those bolts away. So amazing the symbolism that's going on anyway in State College right now, Coach. Tom, how do you see the NCAA moving this quickly, impacting the future of the way the NCAA proceeds? Well, you know, Jerry, this is, this is unprecedented, obviously. Um, um, they've never moved this quickly before. There's always been hearings and, a, and I guess the whole due process to the, uh, to the, the, the penalty phase. Uh, as far as an NCAA invest investigation goes. So, again, uh, this is an unprecedented case, Jerry, and uh, an unprecedented uh, as far as the, the, the process goes as the NCAA. And, and again, uh, I, I, it would take an extreme circumstance to never follow, uh, you know, this type of procedure again. But it's just been incredible to see that they're sort of going against the norm here and they're going to rule without all the due process. Tom Deanhart from BTN.com. I'm sure this is going to be a discussion we're going to have at length on Monday, again, as we learn what the NCAA's measures are going to be, there will certainly be some discussion. I would imagine it is something that Mark Emmert will address because it is so unprecedented in nature. So 
Stay tuned on that. Tom Deanhart from BTN.com. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, guys.